A boy grabbed the girl's hand and keep smelling it. The scent intoxicated him, but the girl was scared and ran away. The boy had a keen sense of smell, and he followed the scent, tracing it back to the girl's home, smelling the girl's shoulder, just as she was about to scream. The boy covered her mouth. When the girl's parents left, she had already lost her breath, and her fragrance continued to dissipate. In order to preserve the girl's scent, the boy sought help from a perfume shop master. Under the master's guidance, he learned the distillation method, and they extracted rose essential oil using this technique. However, the boy discovered that this method couldn't capture all the scent. He questioned the master, who looked into the distiller and found his pet cat inside. The master was angry and told the boy that he couldn't extract the scent of a cat or a human. Overwhelmed, the boy fainted. He longed for the girl's fragrance and fell seriously ill. It was then that the master told the boy about another method of preserving scents in grass. The next day, the boy recovered and embarked on a journey to grass. On the way, a carriage raced by, and the scent of another girl caught the boy's attention. The boy smeared grease on the woman's body, wrapped her in gauze, and took out a razor. The woman wanted to leave. However, the boy wrapped the woman's body in a blanket, cut off her hair, and waited for a while. Then, he squeezes out the grease, mixed it with alcohol, and boiled the mixture. Finally, he extracted a drop of liquid. The boy sniffed it. This is the scent of the woman. He reached out to the woman's dog, and the dog affectionately licked his hand. His experiment was successful. He needed more women to make perfume. More and more girls fell victim. At this moment, the police arrived and arrested him. The boy was sentenced to death. He took out the perfume. On the execution platform, strange expressions appeared on everyone's faces. The executioner knelt in front of him. This man is innocent. The boy dispersed the perfume with a handkerchief. Everyone knelt down. The Pope opened his arms. This is an angel! In the end, the boy returned to his hometown. He poured the perfume on himself, and everyone rushed towards him, devouring him completely. The boy ended his life of sin.